Contradiction? Sounds like a bad thing, right? Well, in mathematics, contradiction is extremely useful. We often use a proof by contradiction, and these can sometimes be the most elegant, beautiful proofs that there are. I want to show you a really nice proof by contradiction. So first of all, in order to explain what I'm going to prove, you need to know what a rational number is. So remember that a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction of an integer divided by another integer. So let's write down what this is. Rational number. Rational numbers are things that can be written down as a ratio, like a divided by b, where a and b are integers. So let's write down the statement that we want to prove. There is no smallest rational number greater than zero. Interesting, right? You might think, sure, I can find a smallest rational number, but you can't. And here's the proof. The proof goes by contradiction. So what we're going to do in a proof by contradiction is to assume that our statement that we're trying to prove is false. And then we're going to derive a contradiction and show that that's an impossibility. So what must have gone wrong? Well, our statement must have actually been true. So let's work through the details. Proof. In a proof by contradiction, we often start by saying suppose not. When we say suppose not, we really mean suppose that this statement we are trying to prove is not true. Okay, we've supposed that the statement is not true. That means that there is a smallest rational number bigger than zero. So let's write that down. So then there is a smallest rational number, let's call it r, bigger than zero. Fair enough. So now we have our smallest rational number. But what can we do with this rational number? It's a fraction. It's some a divided by some b. Why don't we take r and divide it by 2? Let's see what happens. Well, what is r divided by 2? If you have a rational number and you divide it by 2, it's still a fraction. So r divided by 2 is a perfectly good rational number. Is it still positive? Sure it is. r divided by 2? is still positive. So, wait a minute. Isn't r divided by 2 a smaller rational number bigger than 0? How can that be? We just said that r is the smallest rational number bigger than 0. This is impossible! What do we do when it's impossible? We say, this is a contradiction. Instead of saying this is a contradiction, sometimes we just write this symbol two arrows pointing at each other and collapsing. Now there's several different ways to write this. Often it's written with brackets around it, sometimes without brackets, sometimes it's written like this with just arrows, single arrows, and sometimes we can even get a cool symbol that looks like a lightning bolt. This also means contradiction. Also in logic, there's another symbol that means contradiction, but these all really mean the same thing. It means we've reached a point of impossibility, so something must have gone wrong. I must have lied to you when I said that it's not true. In other words, it is true. So don't be afraid of contradiction. In mathematics, it's an essential tool which we use all the time to prove many things. See you next time.